Good afternoon, my friends and family. Well, you are welcome once more to uh, my live video. Uh, my name is Martins. For those of you who don't know my name, my name is Martins. And uh, as I promised that I will be live shortly, so I'm now, I'm here. Happy Sunday to everyone. Well, uh, can we have some words of prayer before we start this live section? My Father, Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for today. Thank you for another grace to fellowship with my brethren in the world. Father, Lord, I pray, Lord God, as, as I want to start, come and start with us. Uh, let your will only be established for today and come and speak your word in your precious name lord god i've prayed amen amen so uh you know just uh we just finished uh church service and you know during the course of the service uh just like uh Apostle John will say in the revelation that I was in the spirit of the Lord on the Lord's day and I heard uh, a voice behind me, you know, I was in the spirit in church and you know, I just there was uh, There is communication that is that was going on uh, Between me and God in my spirit, you know, just taking me to the scripture talking to me about many things from the scripture <laughs> so uh, I will be sharing with us from some of these things and you know so the spirit was taking me to the book of Matthew Matthew 12 34 to 36 you see how can you old generation of viper uh, speak good things for out of the abundance of the heart mouth speak see a good man out of the Good treasures of his heart, it bringeth forth uh, good things, and an evil man out of the evil uh, treasures of his heart, it bringeth forth evil. It's another place in the Bible was saying, the Lord Jesus Christ was saying that uh, uh, every tree, he said, a good tree cannot produce uh, bad fruits, and a bad, uh, bad tree cannot produce good fruits. He said, we will know them by their fruits. Okay, so what uh, is this that I want to come and discuss with us is we have to recognize that uh, most things that people manifest daily it goes beyond it goes way beyond us. Okay, when we see somebody who is living are righteous it goes way beyond that man it is not just him he said how can you being evil speak good things that means it is not as it's not it's not abusing them okay he's not abusing them he was telling them the reality that it is not possible for you to to bring forth good things okay if you do it occasionally it is it is uh it is a a milestone wonder okay it's a, how can you being evil bring it forth good things speak for good things so that means righteous righteous living goes way beyond us if you see any any righteous man if you see any man that that is full of love, is not full of envy, is full of love, is is full of uh of of good works, righteousness, okay. It goes beyond that man. And when we see people who are philanthropists of today, good men, and all of these things, you know, you know, you are, we have seen for many in the world that they say. Uh, they are former. They don't lie. They don't cheat. They don't, you know, they don't do. They, they, they live righteous life without 
uh, the help of God. Okay, but it is still a wonder. Those <laughs> those set of people, they are they are uh, they are they are they are mysterious people. Okay, this is the Lord Jesus Christ. He was saying, "How can you be evil?" He wasn't surprised that these people were accusing him, saying all kind of things to him. He wasn't surprised. He's expected. Okay? So, what is it that I want to come and say to us is for every one of us, okay, who's, who, who are struggling to live righteous, struggling with sin, struggling with adultery, you know, it is, it is, it is more of a spirit thing. Okay? It is more of, it is inner thing. Okay? It's, we need to deal with our heart first. Okay? That place uh, in Matthew 15 says that uh, out of the uh, good things, uh, murders, uh, uh, adultery, and everything, all of these things proceed from a man's heart. Okay? It is proceeds out of a man's heart. Okay, it is not a uh, struggle. It is not righteous living. It is not by struggle. Okay, just like when we are still in the world, we don't struggle to see. Okay, it is frequency. But right, also righteous living, it is not a, a thing of struggle, but it comes first out of the man's, out of a man's heart. If somebody, if you are going to live righteous as a Christian, we must first deal with our spirits. Okay, there was a place in Second Timothy, Second Timothy one seven. You know, uh, Paul was writing to Timothy. He was saying, telling him that God has not given us the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear. But of love, of power, of, of sound, sound mind. Okay? That means love is spirit first before it finds its physical manifestation in a man's life. Spirit of power. You know, people who are shy, they think shyness is, is not fear. Fearful spirit. Okay? It is not, it is, it, it, it is not, when, when somebody is full of fear, Okay, it is not ordinary. This is there is a spirit also behind it. The spirit of fear, anxiety in the world. We see people that are going to commit suicide, worried in the world, full of of prayers and all kind of anxieties in the world. It is there is a spirit behind this. But let God give you the spirit of love, of 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 power, of sound mind. Okay. And remove, let God remove the spirit of fear. Okay? So, these things are spirits. Love is spirit. If somebody is going to love, if someone is going to love, indeed, not false love, love because of, okay? If somebody is going to love, oh, if somebody is going to love, it is spirit. And it is a spirit from God. Okay? It is a spirit from God. Love is spirit. It tried the spirit. It tried the spirit. Okay? So, if we are going to live above sin, we must deal with this spirit. We must change our spirit. Okay? Christianity is more than clothes. It is Christianity deals with more than clothes, more than uh, uh, suits, more than carrying types. No. We will change our spirits. Our spirits first. Okay, we change our spirit. That is how when we our we have a change spirit. Okay, then the right fruit that is supposed to 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 comfort spirit uh, of love of patience of of righteousness. Okay, that is when we begin to to speak for good things. Okay, that is when we will be able to love, indeed. Okay, so that is how this thing is. Okay, you deal first of all with the spirits. You deal with the spirits. Okay, so it amazes when we see such ones in the world who uh, 
didn't have the spirits and you know they were showing love they were showing that you are not envious <laughs> it is not possible it is not possible for a man not to be full of strife envy uh, uh hatred stealing you know when we look at the story of of judas when we look at the story of judas okay we will see that it is not uh only about judas who carried out the acts of betrayal that and you know stealing and all kind of a uh, compromised living that you know it is it is not only about judas the lord jesus christ was saying to him that why have satan so filled your heart okay why has satan so filled your heart okay that means it is not just about him okay it is a spirit in him that is why he carried out those wickedness okay he didn't you know the devil also came to 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 he said the lord jesus christ was saying to them that the devil has asked for peter but he has prayed for him he said the devil has come to him but he didn't find a place in him okay because he has dealt with that spirit okay in his heart he has dealt with it but the spirit came to peter the spirit the spirit of of the of the of, of viper okay trained come to peter to to also you know to take him away from the faith but he tried but he didn't succeed eventually okay the spirit also came to judas to betray him you know and he agree with him with the spirit he agree with it he, he, he can't resist it Bible say resist the devil and he will flee from you okay we must learn how to resist okay we must learn to resist the devil we must learn to resist the devil so, so resist the devil and he will, flee, he will flee from you resisting is not uh, you resist in your heart you resist with your when your heart is filled with the word of God, with the truth of the word of God. You don't resist just in your in your head, in your head knowledge. You will resist by the understanding that God is supplying you. Okay, that's how the Lord Jesus Christ resists the devil. He resists the devil with the scripture, with understanding, not head knowledge of the scripture. No. He resists him with understanding. Okay? So, we must deal with our hearts, with our spirits. We deal with our hearts, our spirits. Okay? That has, that, 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 that has been the issue with all corruption in the world. Okay? All kind of manifestation that we are seeing in the world. You see? out of the earth guard your house with all the year for out of it proceeds all the issues of life okay when we see theft people who are christian today and they are theft they steal okay it's when we lack integrity okay it's 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 it's, it's a spirit okay when a christian is stealing it is either one or two things it's either is not is is he has been uh, he's not yet safe that means he didn't have a safe spirit yet so he can't deal with that spirit of stealing okay but when a christian who is who have been safe is born again who have his changed spirit is now he steals maybe occasionally or yes that means the person has been agreeing with the old man Okay, when we see a uh, Christian, born again people who are adulterer, married women, adulterer, single sisters, adulterer, single brothers, adulterer, married men, adulterer, drunkards, okay, wicked, they are, and they are safe, they are simply just uh, fighting with 
the new spirit of God in them. And they were agreeing. Okay, they are following, they are agreeing, they are in consonance with the spirit of the old man. Okay, that is the issue. That is the issue. When a born again man is, you have seen him in all kinds of strange, 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 strange habits. Okay, that is the issue. As a married, we see women today, big, big women of God, that in their marriage, they are, you know, they don't display such uh of submission quietness spirits at home they were proud rebellious no but the husband can't talk to them at home it's only uh <laughs> on the in public that they show respect okay it is spirit it is spirit that we deal with first of all at that place in uh i've forgotten the particular verse now but in old testament it was saying that we should the, the, the women should shouldn't be should shouldn't be much about uh, adorning themselves with with golden all kind of uh, adorable ornaments and all of these things, but they should clothe themselves with that quiet spirit. Okay, he said that is how old women of faith. That is how they they also clothe themselves with. They adore themselves with in quiet spirits. Okay? That means submission in marriage is you can't try. Okay? In marriage, you can't try. This is not about trying for for women. If you are going to be submissive, this is not about trying. Okay? If so, you are not born again, there's no way you can have a quiet spirit. There's no way you can be submissive in marriage. A man who is not born again there's no way who, is, who, who has not born again in the sense that he has not have a changed spirit okay there's no way he won't be of uh, of 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 this spirit of uh, anger of of quarrel fighting abusing spirits proud spirits arrogant spirits there's no way it is not possible you can try to, to, to try to be submissive, try to love your 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 wife, but it's it is more than you. We I'm not abusing you now, people. Okay, if this is how your marriage is, that your wife is not submissive, even as Christian, your wife is rebellious, is is abusive. Okay, and you know she's trying, she's trying to be submissive. I don't know, she you know. And you too, as a man, you are trying not to be arrogant. You are trying to love. You are no. It's love. This is more than trying. Love is spirit. Quiet spirit. Quietness, patience. Okay, submission is spirit. It is spirit. Because according to that Second Timothy one seven, say, God has not given us the spirit of faith, but of power of love. Sign minds. Love. Love is spirit. For husbands, if you are going to love your children, love your wife, it is spirit. We have to change, we have to have a change of spirit. Okay? And for women, you know, if there are some, born, some people who have a change spirit. But the issue with them is they are agreeing with the old man, with, 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 the, with the cultural man. Okay? The old man can be the man from culture, from 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 ancestry, from background. Okay, that may be that old man. Okay, that old man is we are agreeing with with that spirit, the spirit of pride, of 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 abusing, of you know, all those kind of things. Okay, so that is how marriage is. All right, that is how to make. You are um, the marriage work. You have to have a change of spirit. Okay? You have to have a change of spirit. Please, my husband, how can two work together unless they be agreed? That agreement is, is not uh, only uh, in physical dimension. It's talking about spirit. If this, you don't have agreement in spirit, okay, 
there's no way you can have agreements physically. That is it. That is it. Quiet spirit and also spirit of submission, of love. Okay? If we are going to have love all around us, if we are not going to be full of envy, it's, it's this, we can't, you know, people are trying. Ah, Bible says that we should love our neighbor. Bible says that we should not steal. Bible says that we should not tell lies. Bible says that we should not commit fornication. Bible says that we should not watch pornography. Bible says that uh, we should not, we should not uh, uh, lost in our hearts. Bible says that this, everybody are trying. Okay? But it's that place uh, when Apostle Paul was talking to the Galatians, he was saying to them that, Oh foolish Galatians, a few who have who have bewitched you. He said, How you, you started with spirit and you are not taking things to the flesh. He said, Did you get saved by the work of the law? The person who preached to you, does he preach to you by, by the work of the law or by the spirit? Okay? So, is this more with spirit? Is this more with spirit? If we are going to live a, 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 a victorious Christian life, it deals more with spirit. Okay? It deals with spirit. It deals with spirit. Bible, we have we have read everything. The Bible says, do not do this, do not do that. Do not. It deals with, if we are going to, to fulfill the law. When the Lord Jesus Christ says that, I came not to take out of this book, but to come and fulfill it. Okay? Because he has the enablement. Okay? It is not just about the Lord Jesus. He has the enablement in his spirit to fulfill all of those laws. Okay? Those Pharisees, they didn't have those enablements. And they were just talking about it. They read about it. They come to preach it. They read about it. They come to, you know? And they were not doing it themselves. And, and they were telling men to do it. Laying everybody on men. That this in itself, they don't have even the enablement to carry. Okay? That is how they, they don't have the enablement. You know? When they, when they were accusers, they judge people a lot. They judge people a lot. They, they are the ones that say, I don't commit adultery. And they are committing adultery. Okay? They are the ones that we, they caught a woman in, out of adultery and they brought the woman to stone her. Can you imagine that? To stone her. And the Lord Jesus Christ said that every, any one of them that doesn't sin, that doesn't have a sin, should be the first one to cast the stone. Can you imagine? They themselves, they didn't have the enablement not to be sinning, you know. Because if they have the enablement not to be sinning, they will see what this woman needs is more than accusing her. Okay? Is it bad to, 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 to comment on bad things that people are doing, that people are doing bad? No, it is not bad. But in as much as we, 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 are, we are seeing people who are not sinning, who have the enablement not to commit adultery, also we see to that woman that, okay, this is the problem with this woman. She needs divine enablement, like me also, to live above sin. So they didn't have that enablement, though. okay? And they are the, that, that, that's, please, that's how the Lord Jesus Christ gets there. He knows that they didn't have the, everything that they have been accusing the woman of. They themselves, they didn't have the enablement to do it. Okay? Their spirits have not been changed. They are just struggling. <laughs> They are struggling with those to, to, to do those things, to live righteous. Everything that they have been accusing the women of. They themselves, they are great fornicators. Okay? They are liars. They are, they are, they are, they are corrupt. They are thieves. Okay? Even though they are preaching, they know about it. That they, they should not lie. They should not steal. They should not commit adultery. They should not fornicate. They themselves, they are, they are, they are, they are fornicators. Okay? They are senior sinners. <laughs> okay? So we, we find it today. You know? The, most people who used to criticize uh, sinners, this, that, you know, they don't want to talk if they see you. They don't want to have anything to, 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 to do with you, that you are a sinner. They reject you. They, 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 some won't even greet you. 
because they say that you are a sinner, you are prostitute. People who are like that, I can bet it anyway that they also are great adulterers. They are great fornicators. Because people who have eyes to see, people who are living above sin, when they see fornicators and they see sinners, they don't they don't get they, they don't get around them and be dodging and be condemning and you know this and that. What they come to do is how can I help these people? Because they themselves know that they too they are just like such, but they are living above those uh, tendencies to steal, to kill, to murder, to envy, to, to fornicate. They are living above it by change of spirit, by divine enablement. Okay? So they don't come around. Such people don't come around criticizing, judging. Okay? When we see someone who, who is always full of who is always full of judgment, judging people. Bible says judge not so that you will not be judged. Such person also we will have to go and check him out because he will be judged. We have to go and check him out. Okay? Judge not and you will not be judged. He said with with uh how you, the way how you judge is what they will, how they will judge you too. Okay, that's it just simply implies people are full of judgment. It simply implies that they also they are they, they you know he say how can blind lead the blind? The boat both will fall into the ditch. It simply implies blindness. When we see a leader who is always full of judgment, okay, who is always full of judgment, criticizing. Those are blind leaders. I can tell you that. And blind leader will surely lead the blind into the ditch. Okay? So, people who are full of solutions, people who know how, that is how, why the Lord Jesus Christ, we always find him among the uh, sinners. He's not there to, to, to go and uh, criticize them or you are a sinner, you are this. No. He knows their, he knows the root of their problem. He knows it is more than their, it is it, this thing that they are adulterer, they are this, they are that. It is more than them. Lord Jesus Christ knew that, knew, knew that about them. So he, he, he didn't come around to just be criticizing them. He come around to come and help them. Okay, but the Pharisees, they, their belief system is. Uh, they are even trying to criticize the Lord Jesus Christ. That's uh, why are you sitting with with adulterers and with with thief and with fornicators. Okay, he said those who as are not sick, they don't need the doctor. It is those who are sick that need the physician to heal them, because the physician, a true physician, knows the treatments to that sickness. Okay. So that is how this thing is. People who judges a lot can't also help you. Okay? And we shouldn't be judged. You see, that place uh, you were saying, uh, you that say somebody should not steal. Somebody should not uh, commit adultery. He said, do you also commit adultery? Do you also commit adultery? He's talking about People who judge a lot, people who condemn a lot, who criticize a lot, you know? Most of us, we can't even relate with our, our people again. You say uh, they, are, they are witch. You can't go home to your uh, uh, <laughs> family again, to your hometown. Many people are like that because now they are Christian. They are now born again. You don't want to relate with them. They are witch. They are, they are bad. They are this. No, we shouldn't be full. Yes, we know they are bad, but we also we are once like that. Okay, we shouldn't just be full of judgments. We should try to help people out. If truly we are safe, unless we are not safe, we are we are we are we are lying. Okay, people who are truly safe. I have many many people that okay. I know this person. This person is which is this. Is bad, is doing is that. 
I don't pray for the person to go and die. Okay? Because I know that what they need also is a change of spirit. Okay? It is more than them. They are blind. They are blinded by, by, the, by the blind God of this world. Okay? We don't pray for sinners to go and die. God does not wish that uh, sinners should perish. But that you should come to repentance. Because why? It is not just about sinners. It is a spirit. A spirit influences all kind of manifestation of, 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 of sinful living. So God will not pray for sinners to die. The Lord Jesus Christ didn't pray for them to die. Like those Pharisees and all those false people. They want to come and stone that adulterer woman. He didn't pray that a sinner should die. He didn't pray that a witch should die. He didn't pray that a, a fornicator, adulterer, uh, uh, that man that is looting the country money should die. That ritualist. He didn't wish that he should die because it is more than them as well. They are under a spirit influence. Okay? It's God, what God wish is that every man should come and be safe. Okay? It is more than them. Sinners can't help themselves with, you know, with bad imagination, bad thoughts. Okay. So we have to make sure that uh, we, if truly we are safe, oh, if truly we are safe, then we have to also make sure that we are not full of judgments. Okay. The Lord Jesus Christ said that. Pray for those who's, uh, who, who use you uh, despisefully. Okay? You pray. Say, love your enemy. Love your enemy. Okay? Because it is not about them. It's not just about them. Say, we, 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 we do not want war against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power. Okay, so you pray for your enemy because the every bad man that you are seeing out there in the world, they are great potentials as, as well. Okay, okay, so some of them will still come to be safe. They will still come to be safe. Okay, some of them are even trying. Some of them are trying to to be safe, to to live right, but they can't save themselves. They need somebody to 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 to, to to save them we can be the savior we can be the savior we can lead them to 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 to, to new life to gain new spirits okay that's bad those bad bad uh, leaders politicians bad bad people bad prostitute bad uh, uh boy bad all kind of bad bad people some bad parents, some bad siblings, bad relatives, you know, everywhere. It is it's not just about them. Okay? That is why we must make sure that we, 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 we are not full of judgment. We don't criticize that prostitute that we see. Okay? Don't... We should not just be full of judgment and just be looking at people. Okay? We should try to help. They need help. They need help. We are once like that in the world. We are once like that. Okay? So, uh, I think this is where I'll be dropping the cutting for today. Thank you a lot and I will see you again. Please, uh... Make sure that you follow me on YouTube. You know, on YouTube, all of this, I have a lot of uh, talk shows and, you know, I do some music as well and all of these things that I do on YouTube and all of these things. Please make sure that you follow me as well and, you know, let a friend also hear about this. Refer somebody because somebody might need all of these things that... You know, their life may depend on all of these things. Okay? So, let the world know about all of these things. Do not keep it to yourself. Thank you, and I will see you again.